Okay. I'm bored. You're bored. Let's get this over with. This is part two to what Deku was the Black Panther. Now, before I start, I can't stress this enough. People have asked me in the comment section in my previous video. Yes, Izuku is half black. Seriously. I'm, I'm positive I said this before in the first part, but oh, this is just confirmation. Yes, he is half black. Good. <sighs> anyway. You don't know what the product was at. Izuku, he's not nervous or anything. He's just ready to go. He's ready to show everyone what he can do and get into UA. Going for a top spot. He ain't going for no second place, no fifth place, none of that. He's going for the number one spot. So as soon as those gates open, he rushes out and they're surprising everyone. He does, especially. They're about to call him out on his bullshit for being so fast, but they might say, boy, but boys and girls, y'all better follow that boy's example. Which, yeah, he quickly catches up to Izuku, seeing the massive amount of destruction in his wake. Which, he's already destroyed plenty of robots. He's already scaled in another building just to find more. Everyone is awestruck at Izuku's speed, strength. Hell, his agility is off the charts. He actually helps some people when they have trouble with a few robots. And the teachers are looking at this. Oh my, Aizawa, they're wondering what is this kid's quirk. Aizawa has to look at his files. Has it classified as a panther type quirk? Give me a second. Which oh my is looking at this kid. Yes, he's he's running on all fours to get the most speed. But the sheer ferocity he's using on these robots is impressive. He's tearing through them. He's cutting through them with his bare hands. Using his fingers to not only dig them into the concrete so he can scale the buildings, but also using them to dig into the robot's metal plates and tearing them apart. Now, here comes the zero pointer. There's a, uh, let's see what he can do as he pushes the button twice. Unleashing a zero pointer, two zero pointers on Izuku's testing site. This side, he pushes Oraka out of the way. He is getting himself hurt, but he quickly heals, surprising Oraka as he tells her to get out of there. As soon as he's face to face with the zero pointer, so, right big fella, <clears throat> let's do this. As he's cracking his knuckles, he gets into a jumping position and with his arms in the shit. Let's say he has his arms out in front of him as if like he was a spear and a, or a lance. And as soon as he jumps, he causes a crater with the sheer force of his jump. And he pierces the first zero pointer easily, going straight through the power source, causing it to deactivate. Then it's the other zero point. He's still flying through the air, looking at this. Okay, Let's see, they want to see what I can do. I might as well show them my skills. As he, with a huge gust of wind pressure, actually lands on a, a building right behind the, uh, the second zero point, where she gets to one running stance this time. This time, he's. He has his palm all the way open. His fingers are stretched out, resembling that of claws, as he backs up and runs straight through the zero pointer. I mean, he pierces straight through it, but this time, instead of going through the power source, he takes the power source out with him and races up in the air and yells out the words, Are you not entertained? He's looking right at the observation room. He's looking at all the other participants who were running away. And they are amazed at this. All oh my... Well, Nezu? What do you got to say about that? Nezu, he's sitting back in his chair. like, I'm impressed. Nezu, he's definitely in your class. <laughs> Lucky, like I need your permission. As, yeah... Zuku, just to be even more badass, he sets the power source to overload, throws it right back at the zero point, and walks away as it explodes behind him. 
everyone's looking at, but did he really just, as if he was just shaking his head, just nodding his head, like, yeah, I just did that. Looking as badass as ever. <laughs> and that's how that whole thing ends. As for when he gets home, yeah, the Panthers, they, they missed him with all their hearts. And this is sadly when Izuku has to deliver some bad news to them. He can't really keep all of them here. And he doesn't want to separate them from each other, the families, because that's pretty much of a really dick move to do. So they go back to the forge where he actually found it. And this is when. The, wait. He's smelling the air. Something doesn't feel right. As he sees a big ass boar running straight towards him, and it knocks him straight into the open field, continuously charging Izuku. He's like, what the hell happened here? What's with this? As he's dodging each and every one of the boar's attacks, he's calling the Panthers down to get ready to begin to get in the kill circle. He said, like, right. <clears throat> It's like dinner's about to be ready. As he's getting ready to attack it, he's making sure that it's just stretched with the other Panthers while he decides to go for the throat upon its strongest attack when its neck is completely in view. With one swipe of his hand, he slits his throat and it falls down. Now, one, what Izuku also does is one of the most respectful things you could do for an animal. Or at least in that Netflix movie, The Legend of Mowgli, I think it was called. I, I mean, that, that movie was awesome, man. <clears throat> Either way, he actually looks into the boar's eyes as it slowly does die. So... Yeah, it not only was Izuku the last thing it saw, Izuku looked at it within the eyes. Just just like Don't worry, you're not you're not alone. I'm I'm here for you in your final moments type thing. As the boar sheds a tear of contentment. As Izuku gives them the okay to start eating. This is when he actually notices something. This boar was actually wounded. He sees bruises along its legs, even its underbelly. So, even the, there's even a big ass. Wait, is that a footprint on its? As he gets sucked in the face by a huge ass foot, sent crushing into the side of a cliff. As he sees, yes, it's miracle. I have no idea how you guys are guessing my shit. Huh, maybe you guys are just getting very good at guessing. <sighs> anyway, Miracle, she's just looking at Izuku, glaring all sorts of daggers at him. Pissed as all hell. It's like, oh, man, woman, what is your problem? That boar that your little kittens are eating? That was my prey. And now you're going to, have to pay for it. As, as, yeah, she's cracking her knuckles. She's popping her neck. Just. <sighs> Come on. But. What? Yeah. You're going to fight me. I, but why? You took my prey away. So now you are my prey. As she crouches down, getting ready to jump straight towards Deku to kick him again. So. <sighs> Do I have to? Yes. <sighs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. Might as well. As he crouches down all in all fours, get ready to charge at Miracle. As the wind blows, they are eyeing each other. As they lunge at each other at the same time, causing a huge shockwave to form 
through their sheer punches and kicks alone. She's really surprised at how fast she is. She is definitely surprised at how strong and fast this kid is. Wow, I did not expect someone so young to be so powerful. Zippy just a heck, I was about to say the same thing. It's just, uh, I'm not that young. He's like, oh, sorry, you call yourself an old lady? She get mad and socking him right in the gut, sending him flying into the air. And she's like, I am not that old. She's young, just at the top of her lungs, and she jumps into the air to follow Izuku. She's like, damn, she, she is insanely strong. If I was my weaker self, I would, that would have broken my ribs. As he's like, he sees her charging straight at him mid air. She's like, oh, fuck, I gotta, I gotta, uh, wait. As he just tries to get his bearings, and with one swift motion, he kicks the air, legit, sending a shockwave, landing right next to Mirko, actually catching her with his arm, and slamming down to the ground. Mirko's like, you can how did you do that I'm strong uh, uh, oh, that really hurt oh, she's get, getting up out of the rebels <sighs> you know what here's something else yeah you too ready to go again wait, wait what Izuku's is just confused, like, wait, you still want to keep fighting? You're damn right. It seems like you're not as weak as I thought you'd be. As she has a huge ass grin on her face, Izuku's like, oh man, what did I get myself into? As he crouches down again. This time, the shockwave they cause creates a huge as crater and each punch each strike kick elbow each blow they deal to each other just digs the crater that much more deeper to the point where they are literally digging their own graves with each strike and Zuku he's starting to have fun too Mirko's noticing this see isn't fighting a great way to relieve stress yeah I guess it is as they keep socking each other in the face, kicking each other in the stomachs, and Mirko's like, how about this? As they back off from each other, one more strike. Okay, well first let's get all this crater. I don't feel like dying here. Fair point. Okay, so you said one more strike, right? Correct. <sighs> Besides, I am starting to get tired. Yeah, me too. Izuku, he crouches down for a warm final moment, as is Mirako. They charge up as much power as they can within their legs and arms. Mirako, much more so in her legs. And with one final blow, Mirako's kick and Izuku's punch collide. The shockwave is immense, blowing back several trees, knocking over three of them. The panthers had to dig their claws deep into the ground just to keep from flying off. The boar they were eating? That's gone. It's gone deep into the forest. And the aftermath? Izuku, he's, he's barely conscious, as is Mirko. <coughs> But, uh, why don't we just call that a tie? A tie? A tie's for weaklings. This is Mirko. Like, There's no way hell I'm gonna uh, uh, agree to a tie. As he's just starting to limp towards Izuku. Him limping towards her as well. Just, trust me, he, none of us, neither one of us, are able to continue this fight. That's what you think as she throws a punch, missing and falling over. Izuku catching her with whatever strength he has left. Cute. She's like, wait, what'd you call, what'd, what'd you say? He's like, nothing. Some of the Panthers just like, walk up and like, 
is she gonna be our new mom? The little little cubs are just like is is that our new grandma papa? Is she is this good? he's blushing as he almost drops a miracle I was like, wait, what's the big idea? Like, uh Well, you may not believe me, but I can actually understand these Panthers. What? Y yeah, I can understand them. Oh. Wait, what did they say to make you blush like that? Well, those two push pointing at Chichala and Shur Shuri. Yes. Seriously, hold on. I have to. I have to. Yeah. Chichala and Shuri. I was like, that was too easy. I should. Wow, did my. I feel so foolish. Like, seriously, it's perfect. As for the uh, naming the other Panthers, I'm just going to use uh, some of the other names that you guys have actually thought of, like Best, Chichaka, things like that. So yeah, thank you, Tofang. Thank you for the names. Anyway, Mirko hearing this is like, wait, they they thought, I they think I'm gonna be there. New mom and grandma. I I am so sorry. She's blushing a little bit. It's like, I I I, I never considered. Um, I mean I, I have had people who admired me before. I I mean I did. Some guys and even girls have confessed to me before. But uh, she's just fidgeting and with her fingers as well as mumbling is like hills. Uh. Uh, calm, please calm down. It's just I I have never really thought of uh, having uh, so someone really romantically involved. People are usually after getting to know me, she just keeps going over and over how people would be scared, uh, how intimidating she is, how intense she can be. Like, uh, please please calm down. I'm trying to make it so she doesn't have a nervous breakdown or something. As she's like, okay, fine, I. I accept. Wait, what? I'll be their mom and grandma. Uh, what? Is it? Wait, I don't even know your name, or or you don't even know my name. It's like, well, I'm the rabbit hero, Mirako. Wait, you are? Izuku, he just grabs his bag that he he put down. It's like. He's just going through his nose. Holy crap! It is you. Oh my god! I can't believe I, I didn't even notice. That's like a guy have your autograph. Is she, like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you. You as as, as he starts going crazy. It's, it's like, uh, please, please, you calm down now. You yelled me. Now it's time for you to calm down. She's he's just going completely fanboy over her because yeah, she. Oh yeah, that's waifu right there, man. That's miracle waifu material. I'm, I mean, them legs. Oh, what, what am I doing? <coughs> anyway, uh, where, where was I? Uh, damn, miracle. She just does something to me. Damn it! Yeah, that's in the recording. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit that that out. Fuck. Now. Oh yeah, he's a good, he's going crazy. Trying try his best not to. Trying to just fanboying out towards Mirko. She's like, uh, well, they, what I do? He's, he's go, going to blow a brain cell or something. She's like, oh, screw it. As she just kisses him on the lips. Zuku's like, uh, 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 Mirko's pretty much. As soon as she breaks the kiss, she's like, okay, he looks like that worked. Zuku, he touches his sister. Like, he's like, what, what, what is it? That was my first kiss. Really? Yes. Well, well, um, don't be sad. It, it was mine too. So, <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just my first kiss was Miracle, the rabbit hero. That's... Oh my God! <laughs> As he's like, he's starting to like. He's starting to get all crazy. Miracle's like, please don't do it again. I, 
I'll kiss you again if you just calm down. And he's just like, I am calm. And she gives him a kiss on the cheek this time. When she gets up, she's like, well, your, your name is Zuku Midoriya, right? Yeah. Here, here's my number, and call me sometime. As she hops away. Zuku's like, I can't believe this. This is the best day ever. As the Panthers are like, we were just kidding. But, what? Yeah, we were kidding. We didn't, we didn't think she would actually go for it. Oh, wait, you, so you, you didn't mean it? Like, no, but apparently, yeah, we have a new mom. Such, and we have a new grandma. It's like, of course, the younger cubs are going to call him grandpa. Seriously, it's too perfect. Especially considering what I have planned for this. In which, yes, Izuku is going to have to get one for all for this. Seriously, son. Seriously. I need him to have one for all for some of this to at least make a little bit of sense. But just then, they hear something. And the Panthers are sniffing the air. It's like, what is it? As, yeah, they start growling. As they just edge ever so closer to within the woods and see the trees so he's like what's going on is he smelling the air oh okay him getting ready to attack and she, which yeah she just jumps out and like wait no no it's me don't stand down stand down is like what is me what are you doing here I just want to test out my gear what wait a minute He's, he's just looking at it. Like, well, she, she, yeah, she's wearing these weird gauntlets as well as boots. He's like, uh, is it me? Yeah, what are those? And she's like, uh, I, I made these based off your Panther abilities. Anyway, did you legit just say that? Yes. You know that's... A, you know that's cringy as hell, don't you? Yes. But you said it anyway. Uh huh. I'm gonna kill you. I should I should kill you for making such a cringy ass joke. Oh come on, it's a it's a good joke. No, it's not. Well, I think it's funny. That's all that matters. As he's looking at the Panthers, just, just shaking their heads, no, no, that that, that was lame as hell. This is like, see, even, even your kids agree with me. <sighs> anyway, where well, you said you were just testing out your gear, yeah, and and just in time too, considering that you just landed, Miracle. Like, wait, you saw that? Yep. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I gotta find a place for these guys to actually stay around here where I can still visit. As they're like, wait, you're still gonna come see us? Of course, you're my... <sighs> you're my kids, technically. As they are all too happy to hear him say that. As they actually pounce on him and licking him, just showing him all the love. It's like, okay, 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 I, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Get away. So, wait, so as, as he's. Huh, hold on. In which he leads them straight towards. The cave system, the network of tunnels of which he, he found himself in, where he actually found the herb. He's in there with Izumi and the Panthers, and they're like, Izumi's like, wait, where are we? This is the place where I fell, where my quirk awakened. Wow. As he's looking at the tunnels, she's trying to think, like, which way should we go? I mean, as she's like, uh, hold on, let me just, and by a click of uh, several buttons, 
to deploy some drones just to see what kind of place are they really dealing with which as soon as she does start going through the looking through each and every one of the eyes for the drones she's like Izuku he's all the way to the same place and what the hell is that language like, hell is not a cuss word so, huh wait actually yeah it's not is it nope as she starts running into the tunnels, Izuku's like, wait, wait a minute. As he follows her, the Panthers as well. And by the time they get to the end of the tunnels, they see this huge area, open space, with plants, other small game, big game, and this weird material. Zumi, she's trying to stay it, using her scanners on the drones. This is weird. As she leans in to grab it, uh, a drop of water hits it and she flies back a little bit and out pure shock she's like what the hell was it's a, she's looking at where the water came from and that was with one drop she's like Izuku do, do, do me a favor what um, punch, punch this this uh, this uh, little uh, stone here what, why Hold on, let me just do it. Just uh, hold on. Let me get this right. Wait, why are you? What are you doing? I just want to record my findings. Um, okay. So just punch it. Yeah. As he comes back his fist, and he punches it with all his might, and he sends him flying towards the other side of the caves. Well, she is laughing her ass off as as is the Panthers. He's like, and she's like, oh, that was worth it. He's like, oh, oh, man, that hurt. What the hell was that? As she's going over the footage, not even paying attention, she's like, you better delete that. Like, what? Like, you heard me. Delete that footage. Like, no! In which he gets on all fours and grabs the recording device and crushes it. It's like, what, what did you just do? I just deleted the footage, since you wouldn't. But that was mine. You can make another one. Ah, uh, I guess so. I mean, all the data I collected is sent straight to my nervous system. What? Oh, yes. And if you... Give me a second. Okay, what was I? Okay, let's see. Hey. Oh yeah, she's about to threaten him. Like, now, if you do that to any of my things ever again, I will, I repeat, will leak the footage on YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. I will. Now, help me out with this stuff. You saw what happened when I punched it. So how are we exactly going to move it without it reacting to the slightest bump? Huh. That's a good point. Well, you do have a week until your results come back, right? Y yeah. Good. I, I'm going to start working on some stuff and you're going to help me test it. Excuse me? You heard me. Or do I need to show this footage to a few of your friends? Suku's what friends? Good point. Then my friends. <clears throat> Deal. And with that, I am going to end this part off. Yes. Of course, Miracle is going to be part of the ship. As well as... Oh, yeah, I, I have to. Mei Hatsume is definitely going to be part of Izuku's ship. And, <laughs> yes, they had just discovered Vibranium. Oh, man, I'm going to really enjoy this. Anyway, I am out. The peace of the love, children. And like I said before, Izuku is half black. Which... 
Hell, I don't see the big deal if he wasn't. I mean, seriously. I mean, him Akuma, he, he wasn't... Is it... A, wasn't Akuma Chinese or something? I, f I forget. Damn. Huh. Wait a minute. But, give me a second. Yeah! Wait. Wait. And isn't... Was it uh, not called German as well as Wade Americans? Seriously, who cares? Who cares if he was black or not? Wait. Has everyone made is it black as Black Panther in their what ifs? Because I just made him half black. Okay, 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 okay. This ain't too long. Either way, I'm about. So peace and the love, children.